one I am almost horrified to imagine alluding to the most fatal example of the abuse of grief that has been preserved by the history of mankind, the cross. Consider what disaster the sorrow machine produces. 2. I had to study politics and war so that my son could have the freedom to study mathematics and philosophy. 3. Education makes a greater distinction between man and man than that which nature makes between man and man. 4. They are not expected to acknowledge us until we acknowledge ourselves. 5. Remember, democracy never lasts long. Immediately discard, discard, and commit suicide. There has never been a democracy that does not commit suicide. 6. I wish I could lie beside him and die too. 7. All great changes plague the human mind, especially those accompanied by great danger and uncertain effects. 8. I read my eyes, and can't read half too. The more one reads, the more one sees. We have to read. 9. A single assembly tends to grow ambitious and after some time will not hesitate to elect itself forever. This is the fault of the long parliament, but more remarkable than the Netherlands, whose assemblies first elected themselves from year to ten years, then for life, and after a few years, that all vacancies occurred by death or vice versa, had to be filled on their own, with no application to the constituents at all. 10. If thou shalt not covet, and thou shalt not steal, are not the commandments of heaven, they must be made inviolable doctrines in every society, before they can be cultivated or liberated. 11. Therefore, judges must always be a person who studies and is experienced in law, exemplary morals, extraordinary patience, calmness, calmness, and care. Their minds should not be distracted by thunderous interest, they must not depend on anyone, or the human body. 12. The public negotiations and secret intrigues of England, Jews, and French, Jews, have been used for centuries in every court and country in Europe. Look back at the history of Spain, the Netherlands, Germany, Russia, Sweden, Denmark, Prussia, Italy, and Turkey over the past hundred years. All European powers will continue to maneuver with us to make us real or imaginary. Balance of Power 13. We do not have a government armed with a force capable of resisting human desires unfettered by morality and religion. Greed, ambition, revenge or stuttering will break the strongest tropes of our constitution as whales break through the net. Our constitution is designed only for moral and religious people. It's completely inadequate for the others. 14. It will be the best of all possible worlds, if there were no religion in it. 15. One sailor will make us better than two soldiers. 16. I am sure, there is in the whole Christian world, a law that makes it blasphemous to deny or doubt the divine inspiration of all the books of the Old and New Testaments, from Genesis to Revelation. In most European countries it is punished with fire on piles, or shelves, or wheels. Now, what is a free inquiry, when an author must inevitably face the risk of a finer imprisonment for adding arguments to investigate the divine authority of those books? 17. Tom, had you and I been with Moses for forty days, and seen the great God, and even if God himself had tried to tell us that three are one, and one equals three, you and I will never believe it. We will never be victims of such lies. 18. The enslavement of the Negro was a very great crime. 19. Since the government of the United States was in no way founded on the basis of Christianity, because it had no hostile nature to the law, religion, or tranquility of the muscle people, and as said by those states never entered into any war or act of hostility towards any messiah nation. It was stated by the parties that no pretext arose from religious opinion would ever result in a disturbance to the existing harmony between the two countries. 20. The government of the United States itself has no hostile nature to the law, religion or tranquility of Muslims. 21. It was once my hobby to see ascending in America an empire of freedom, and the prospects of two or three hundred million free people without one nobleman or one king among them. You said it was impossible. 
If I agree with you in this regard, I will still say, let's try experiments, and keep our equality as long as possible. A better education system for ordinary people might protect them from such artificial inequalities as they are detrimental to society, by messing up the natural distinction between right and wrong, virtue and vice versa. 22 There is no such thing as a free lunch, unless you have a coupon for a free lunch. Or someone gives you lunch. It's okay. 23 But a constitution of the government which was once changed from freedom, can never be restored. Independence, once lost, is lost for good. 24 When economic power is concentrated in several hands, then political power flows to the owners and away from the citizens, eventually producing an oligarchy or tyranny. 25 In vain are schools, academies, and universities institutionalized, if loose principles and moral habits are impressed in children in their early years. Parents' voices and examples cannot be hidden from children. How could children have a just feeling about the sacred duty of morality or religion if, from their earliest infancy, they learned that their mother lived in the usual infidelity to their father, and their father in constant infidelity to their mother? 26 Let us hear the dangers of pushing our consciences from ignorance, extreme poverty, and dependence, in short, from civil and political slavery. Let's see in front of us depicted a map of the real human being. Let us hear the dignity of his nature, and the noble rank he holds among the works of Allah who approve of slavery as an unlawful breach of trust, as offending the sight of Allah for insulting our own honor or importance or happiness, and that Allah Almighty has announced from heaven freedom, peace, and good will to man. 27 The longer I live, the more I read, the more patiently I think, and the more curious I am, the less I know, do it fairly. Compassionate love walk humbly, with your Lord. This is enough. 28 In general, our generals lost far. 29 There is no clearer truth taught in the volume of inspiration, nor is there anything more fully demonstrated by the experiences of all ages, than that a deep sense and recognition due to the providence of the providence of the Supreme Being and the accountability of man to him as a seeker of the heart and a just distributor for rewards and punishments conducive to the happiness and honesty of the individual and the welfare of the community. 30 The Happiness of Man as well as his dignity, consists of virtue. 31 Freedom, the inalienable, inalienable rights of man, the indestructible, the honor and dignity of human nature, the majesty and glory of society, and the universal happiness of the individual, have never been so skilled and successfully consulted as in that finest monument. Human Art, English Common Law 32 Perhaps it is heaven's will that America will suffer more calamities, and distress yet more terrible. If this is the case, it will have a good effect at least. It will inspire us with many virtues, which we do not have, and correct many errors, foolishness and wickedness. But I had to leave all my hopes and fears to the ruling providence, where, inconsistent with his faith, I was sure, I was sure, 